In this edition of Unbox, we'll open the 2022 vinyl box set for Voivod called Forgotten in Space, a collection of this legendary Canadian prog thrash metal band's three albums on Noise Records, as well as a DVD, a USB stick with bonus tracks, a hardbound book, and more. Stay tuned. What's in the box? So my history with this band begins back in 1984 when I heard the track Condemned to the Gallows on the Metal Massacre 5 compilation album. I've talked a great deal about this compilation series and how important it was to me as a teenager discovering new metal bands. This is clearly no exception. I liked the track, but I really didn't hear much from them until I bought their Killing Technology album in 1987, which was... An amazing album. I was totally blown away by it. I played it throughout 1987 and beyond. At the time, I was also listening to a bit of hardcore, and this era of Voivod really seemed to fit in well with that style of music. I was pretty sure many of my punk friends were also fairly decent with Voivod as well. In the summer of 1987, I went out west to start my adult life out on my own. I didn't have much in the way of music on me at that time, but I did have this tape. It's a copy of Voivod's first album, War and Pain, which I have a deep nostalgia for to this day. I think I bought it in some mom and pop record store somewhere in Southern Oregon, which is where I was right before I moved to California for a bit. It was a pretty chaotic first year out of my own, and the War and Pain album was a fitting soundtrack for that chaos. In other words, good times. That was followed by Dimension Hatros, and then Nothing Face, and then I kind of took a breather from the band up until a few years ago when I decided to check out their latest album and then explore those albums in the catalog that I missed out on. So that's pretty much the story with my Voivod background. As for the box set, here's what you can expect inside. Uh, the three noise record albums for Voivod on vinyl, which includes Roar from 1986, Killing Technology from 1987, Dimension Hatros from 1988, also the Dimension Hatros, The Demos, also No Speed Limit Weekend 86, which is a double LP live album, and also the Chaos Mongers DVD, which contains a mini documentary, plus a previously unseen concert from 1987, and an audio recording of the legendary WW3 show from 1985. It'll also have a 12 by 12 40 page book of photography and brand new interviews with founding member Away. It contains a vast array of previously unseen photos from the era, which I'm pretty excited to look at. It also comes with a Corgol figurine USB drive containing MP3 audio of all of the albums, including bonus tracks. And we're also going to get an exclusive art card signed by Voivod drummer and artist Away. So, all right, let's get to the box. All right, so I decided to keep it in the actual packing box. I did buy it from Noise Records directly. So if you're going that route, this is what you're going to basically see. So I'm just going to open her up right now here. Let's see where these openings are. There we go. So right away, we get the art print from away. You don't need to see that. That's pretty nice. Suitable for framing. I'll put that right over here. So there is a box in a box, which is really fantastic. Let's get this out of the way. There. Which is good. That's the way box sets should be packed. Amazon, take note. So let's get this out of here. Let's see. Uh, let's get this guy open here. And there's the box set right there. Let's get that away. Perfect. Very nice. It has kind of a, almost like a foil covering. I'm going to take the plastic off so we can get a better look at it. There's the back there. Let's take a, be very careful with this. that away gonna look at that there is um, a bit of um, a gloss here in the windows uh, it does look like a little bit of a foil uh, covering here that's pretty cool they put some uh, effort into the packaging which you know if you're gonna spend 
upwards of $200, give or take. You kind of want some extras. So here's the box set. Let's get her open. All right. It has a bit of a, a hinge to it. So we'll kind of do that. Oh, that's nice. I like the, uh, the inset picture here. Yeah, definitely digging that. Uh, we're definitely at the albums here. Starting with Roar, uh, this is uh, their second album. It was originally released on March 14th, 1986. Give you a look at the back there. Kind of does look like the original quite a bit in a ways uh, a handwriting slash font. Uh, this should be black and red splatter, one LP. Uh, the requisite thrash metal band collage. You got to have that in the 80s for sure. And the insanely difficult to read lyrics because they're written in a way is handwriting. Uh, we'll probably see that again, no doubt. Take a look at the vinyl here. It is black with red splatter. Very, very nice. Both sides, of course. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. I don't see any warps or anything. I always worry about that when I buy records through the mail, especially if they have to come across the pond from Europe. Uh, and in the summertime, of course, some of you might know about that. So we'll put that aside. Uh, we've also got Killing Technology, uh, uh, one of my favorite albums, obviously, from this band. I had mentioned that before. Uh, let's take a look at the back. Yep, yeah, that is the picture on the original. Pretty great. Let's take a look at that vinyl there. Uh, yep, yeah, nice picture of the band. More crazy, hard to read lyrics. We knew it was coming. Vinyl in this one is hard to get out. Oof, very hard to get out. There, we got a green and a purple kind of configuration going there. A little more purple and green on that B side. Really love this album a lot. Uh, the album was originally released on April 2nd, 1987. Uh, they also switched to Harris Johns as their producer. Harris Johns was uh, the producer at Noise Records for the most part. He did a bunch of other albums. Uh, it was recorded in Berlin, I believe. Pretty cool. This is Dimension Hatros. Uh, it should be Pink and Gray Swirl 1LP. Uh, the album itself was released on June 29th, 1988. It was also produced by Harris Johns. I think Voivod did help a little bit with the production, but there it is. Also recorded in Berlin. Uh, there's the back for you. Very nice. Love this album quite a bit. So it would be cool to see this one. We got the uh, inner sleeve here. And more hard to read lyrics. Eh, you know, what are you going to do? It's a bit of static here. That's why these are so hard to pull out. There's the vinyl itself, the Noise Records logo there, and a little bit more gray on there. Pretty cool. This looks to be the Demos uh, record, Dimension Hatros, the Demos. I've been particularly excited about some of this extras stuff. Looks pretty awesome. Yeah, so side A has Experiment, Tribal Convictions, Chaos Mongers, and Technocratic Manipulators. Side B is Macro solutions to mega problems, brain scans, psychic vacuum, and cosmic drama. So, pretty great. So, we'll take a look at the uh, plain uh, black inner sleeves. Uh, they are not lined. Keep that in mind. Ah, oh, amazing. Look at that. With a Waze artwork there. That is a fantastic vinyl variant. I am pleased. Next is Voivod with No Speed Limit Weekend 86. Of course it's Voivod. What am I saying? Uh, this looks to be pretty amazing. I'm not going to rattle off the track listings, but it also looks like it has a gatefold. Super nice. Nice pictures of the band. Uh, two LP. I'm going to pull out probably just one. Uh, maybe I'll pull out both if the mood strikes me. Oh, look at that. That is nice. That is a bit translucent as well, that green. And tracks on the reverse. You know, let's take a look at that second record. It's going to be green too, but, you know, what the hell. And of course, there you go. 
record two and more track listings there for you so that's no speed limit weekend 1986 this is previously unreleased by the way uh, pretty cool to get this in the box set for sure and now we have the booklet here this is uh, cosmic drama been pretty excited to look at this I think I'm actually going to use this as a backing Let's do it that way. Okay. Let's take a look here. Yeah. Pretty great pictures of the band. Um, should probably talk about this band a little bit while we flip to this book. Uh, Voivod was formed in 1982 in Quebec, Canada. Uh, some folks mention the new wave of British heavy metal being an influence on them, and I think. Maybe some of that's in there, but you definitely get the hardcore punk as well as progressive rock influences. Uh, early material is certainly in the thrash metal camp, though again, with those hardcore and prog leanings. Uh, lyrical topics for the band, especially in this era, definitely include politics, but also science fiction. Uh, oftentimes, Voivod is known as one of the early, if not the first, sci-fi metal bands, uh, in turn influencing more modern bands such as Vector and Blood Incantation, both great bands, by the way. I would certainly uh, recommend those. I've also covered them in episodes of Vinyl Hall. If you would like Voivod, I would definitely recommend also checking out those two bands. Um, after the Noise Records years, they steered more away from Thrash and leaned much more into prog, uh, though pretty heavy prog, I would say. Uh, definitely not... Uh, uh, King Crimson exactly, though you can hear some of that, obviously. Um, I'm not going to go into that era of the band much because it doesn't make sense to do so in this video. We're covering the 1980s for the most part, so there's that. Uh, because of that, there are classic era fans, such as those who dig this particular material, who dropped away from the band in the 1990s when that change started to happen. Um, there are other fans who dig the prog stuff, and still others who love it all. I definitely started with the noise years, obviously, so I have a deep fondness for that era, but I am giving the less thrashy stuff a chance these days. At least I'm trying. I don't want to be that old man that thinks nothing after 1993 is of any good. Uh, so there's that. These are fantastic pictures, by the way. I'm really enjoying this booklet here. We got some more drawings from Away, a lot of interesting conceptual drawings. Um, a lot of these probably didn't make the album, so it's, we're probably seeing a lot of this for the first time. That's really amazing. Yeah, pretty great. And another collage, of course. And there you go with that. Looks like we also have the Chaos Mongers DVD here. Open that up for you. It's a DVD. I mean, you can only look at it so much. You have to actually watch what's on the disc, right? And there's the back of that for you. Of course, we did see the art card already signed, so we don't need to talk about that. Here is the Korgal the Exterminator USB. Let's uh, get that out of the plastic. So, yeah, there it is for you. And it probably just pulls apart. There's your USB. Digital. I hear it's the wave of the future. But anyways, there it is. And I think that's about it. I don't see anything else in here. It's a nice package overall, though. I'm pretty impressed with it. So I just wanted to show you the back of the box since you couldn't see it with the label on it. It is an exploding planet. Very exciting. So my only complaint about this box, and it really is a self-induced complaint, is that the book wasn't hardcover as I thought it would be. And I don't know why I thought it would be. Maybe I've gotten other box sets that had hardbound books. So forget the hardbound book thing. It is soft cover, obviously. Again, would have liked the other kind, but again, that's my problem, not theirs. Uh, so what's not in this box is their debut album, War and Pain. Of course, the reason is simple. War and Pain was released by Metal Blade and not Noise Records, so it naturally wouldn't be here. But it is nice that both Nothing Face and Angel Rat were reissued to vinyl in 2022. So if you get this box set and all you have left to get of the classic era is their first album, then that works out for you. Certainly works out for me. So with tax and shipping from Noise Records directly, I paid about $237 US for this box set. 
Almost $50 of that was for shipping. I did see it on Amazon for as low as $140 plus shipping. Likewise at Napalm Records, though they are currently sold out. Earache site has it for about $165, Empiricon at about $160, and Eyesore merch at $147, all before shipping costs, of course. And some of the brick-and-mortar record stores I've been to lately seem to be selling the box set for around $200, give or take. So I'm guessing the current price range with everything will run between $180 and $240, so definitely shop around a bit. So although I do have an OG copy of Killing Technology, which you already saw, it's pretty great to have the other two noise releases on the vinyl format, as well as all those extras. Now I just need that debut, preferably an OG copy of it, and then maybe some of the more modern releases. So check back in for that, if I ever get them. But what did you think about this box? And what was your favorite item here? Are you thinking about picking one up? And if you already have it, are you satisfied with the purchase? Let me know all of that and anything else about the box in the comments below. Of course, I don't just cover box sets here at the Accusation Network. I do videos on metal vinyl collecting all around. I also do videos on classic and modern metal bands in general. If that sounds of interest, definitely subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it with some of your friends. And if you're a regular viewer of mine, consider checking out my Patreon page. It is at patreon.com slash the Accusation Network. I have a number of tiers there you can check out. Some of the rewards, of course, are seeing these videos up to seven days early, as well as checking out exclusive content. Again, go to Patreon, find the Accusation Network, and see how you contribute. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.